tight spastic muscles, maybe from cerebral palsy or a stroke or a brain injury, any of these conditions can lead to spasticity, which is tight muscles and exaggerated reflexes. Spasticity can make walking more difficult, it can make using your hands more difficult, it can make cares more difficult, it can be painful. So treating spasticity is beneficial. There's different ways of treating spasticity. You can use oral medications, you can use stretching and bracing, you can use injections. In a previous Utah Neuro Rehabilitation YouTube video, I talked about injecting Botox or Dysport into tight spastic muscles. There is another substance that you can inject into tight spastic muscles, and that's called phenol. Phenol has been around for many, many years, much longer than Botox or Dysport. You inject it directly, though, into the nerve. For Botox or Dysport, you inject it into the muscle, and so it's a little easier to get in. With the phenol, you need to find the nerve with the stimulator and then inject it. Phenol often lasts a little longer than Botox or Dysport, and it's much less expensive. So if you're in a place where you can't get Botox or Dysport because it's so expensive, phenol is an option to consider. Here you can see us stimulating the nerve. You can see the muscle contract or jump when the stimulator is on the nerve. Once we see the muscle contract, we know that we're in the right place and then inject the nerve. Side effects from phenol injection can include bruising or pain. Sometimes a small knot will form in the muscle. Also, if you happen to inject a little phenol into a sensory nerve, as opposed to a motor nerve that goes into the muscle, you can get some burning pain. We work hard to avoid that, and that's not common. And if this does happen, there are medications that you can use to help that pain while it wears off. In my career, I started injecting phenol. I learned how to inject phenol during physical medicine and rehabilitation residency. That's because Botox and Dysport were not yet around. But then Botox and Dysport came around and I started injecting that because it's easier to get in. But then therapists would ask me to inject multiple tight muscles in a person. Well, you can only use so much Botox or Dysport per body. So then I started injecting some muscles with phenol and other muscles with Botox or Dysport to be able to inject all the muscles that were tight. And a number of us across the country and probably across the world use this technique of using both Dysport or Botox and Phenol.